Black hair care has its roots. We are the foundation of hair culture. We're purveyors of self-expression and individuality. Black women have crafted a legacy of styles right here from the home. From locks and bantu knots to cornrows, we've left no stone unturned. We're often imitated, but never duplicated. Black women's ingenuity is a well that never runs dry. The innovation that black women have created with hair is insane. Ursula, you had me 12 years old thinking that I could manage an asymmetrical bob. Like, so that I did my job. So you did your did job. job. You you inspired. But I have to know because you've been such a part of hair history and hair culture. Who are some of your favorites? Ooh. Well, you know I love everything that I did on Miss Bad Gal. Yes. Riri. As do we all. Deanna Taylor is killing Ooh. her short haircut right now. I'm in love with that. I love her with short love hair. Love it. That's like one of her best movies when it comes to her hair. A lot of girls are bobbing around the city and I love to see it. It's that cut that says, you know what? I'm ready for a change. And I think that we also innovate with color, right? They used to tell us that black women couldn't be blonde. Baby, we are the best blonde. It reads so differently on yep. everyone. Mm -hmm. yep. Little Kim can do it. Yep. Mary's doing it. Beyonce's doing yep. it. Like, hey, And girl. speaking of blonde, hey. what do you think about blonde? We were talking, I want to hear about your blonde journey. We're talking about the blonde icon. I'm yes. just getting to the part where I'm like, okay, I know how to maintain it. Um, I feel like a super important thing, though, is to make sure you take care of it. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, healthy hair is absolutely about your scalp. But the key was definitely keeping it moisturized, deep conditioning, taking care of the scalp, getting the scalp I'm very proud of you. Thank you. Because a healthy scalp produces healthy yep. hair. Yep. Absolutely. That's just it. Yep. When I see a black woman with blonde hair, she seems bolder. She seems, mm -hmm. like yeah. just the, the risk yeah. of yeah. going blonde mm -hmm. as a black woman. You're taking a risk. You're taking a risk. It's all about the danger. <laughs> but you look good. Ladies, we are in a wig renaissance, right? I think that the assumption is like, oh, if I throw a wig on my hair, right, yeah. then my hair is fine. Yeah. But that's not the case. No, it's you gotta not. take care of your hair under the wig. Cardi, her hair down to the flow. It is. Meg's hair, Meg's hair. Meg. Meg natural hair. Mm -hmm. Meg Stein's natural hair is so curly, it's so pretty, it's healthy, like it's big. I mean, kind of like, yeah. that, how, <laughs> that was quick. Was and when I see that, I'm so proud of them. Yeah. I yep. am so proud yep. of them and their hairstylists because yep. they actually have hair. And so they have to set that example. Yep. You can do whatever you want and not worry about having to do anything to your real hair. Pop it off, use a scalp care collection, get your scalp together. And by leaving put it on for a bonnet, I always say treat the scalp before you put the wig on yep. and treat it after you put the wig yep. on. Yep. You have to yep. do it the right yep. way. You have to.